Today's video is going to be a little bit different than what I usually do. I'm actually going to be showing you guys how to make your own Polaroid minimalistic movie poster. I don't know. You've probably seen them. They're like pretty popular, trendy, I guess. I don't know. I've seen them all around Pinterest. I've seen so many cool rooms and like, I was like, oh my gosh. I, if you know me, I love movies. And what my plan is, I'm going to be putting them all right here on the top of my um, closet area, this whole wall. All along the top there the planning of this process actually started like a month ago for me so i'm going through pinterest right and all these cool like polaroid movie film posters and stuff and so i like create a board and stuff because i'm like oh my gosh i need to do this like this is so cool i noticed that like almost all of them have different fonts different sizes of the actual pictures different background colors for the poster itself different font sizes it's not cohesive they're not like the same you know what i mean and so if i was going to print them directly like from Pinterest and stuff then they would all be like different colors different sizes different everything so I was like I love this idea but like I have like a little bit of OCD I can't have them be different <laughs> different fonts and everything all on the walls so, so I decided I was going to make my own so that is exactly what I did I made like 24 posters right with the help from my friend's family I like measured this and like calculated how many posters I could fit with it being like organized and stuff right I can only use 15 I will be showing you guys exactly like how I made it like what different websites I used what the fonts were and all that fun stuff and then I will be showing you how I'm gonna put it up there and stuff I might put like some fairy lights or something along with I think that would be really cool um I'm going to actually put all the movie posters that I made onto my Pinterest like create like a little I don't know I've never done that but or like link it down below so like if you want to like actually use any of these you can and like you won't have like that problem where they're all like different fonts and stuff I'll make sure to put that into the description down below figure that out I'll update you guys on that at the end of the video when I know more about it right now I'll show you everything that I did to actually make these posters <laughs> Right now I'm going to show you how I made them. First, what I did was I went to this website called Font Squirrel. Basically what I see what font is being used. Highlight the text that I want to know the font. So then what I do is Okay, I already like did this, so so hello YouTube. I don't know, but yeah, so you go to the add-ons up here, and you touch that, and then start. Now you have all these different fonts, and so this is the one that I got from Font Squirrel, right? The first time I did it, they as new. I so say it like gave you a different one. I don't know, a like, all right? So you, say you wanted that, and you just highlight it, and then do it like you would regular. That's basically how I got all the same fonts, and then I made sure to be consistent font sizes and colors. So the titles I use are Bidea's New for the Year, Paro for like the little description, Cup Rum. This is what I'm going to print onto that glossy photo paper. Just a standard paper size, you know, the eight and a half by 11. Pretty excited to print these out and everything. So let's just do it right now. Let's get into, what am I gonna call this section? Let's get on into the printing section of the video. <laughs> Office chair right now. I'm literally 
falling off. Okay, but I realized I never showed you guys what movies and TV shows that I put on here. Captain America Civil War. Do I need to explain it anymore? My opinion changes like every day, but it's like my favorite Marvel movie. It's so good. It's so good. Okay, I could like talk about that one forever. All right, The Office, pretty self-explanatory. Top tier show. It's Inception. It's really crazy. It's very interesting, very involved, and I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> Once again, go watch it. Spider Man Homecoming. Literally, like my favorite movie of all time. I've seen it probably, I'm not even joking, at least 100 times. And I'm being 100% serious. I can like quote pretty much the whole entire movie. Stranger Things. Amazing show. When are we getting season four? Okay, I feel like this is really close to my face. Is this too close for you guys? <laughs> when are we getting season four of Stranger Things? Because We've been waiting like two years and I think it's about time. Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens. Very good movie. I, I think it's the best out of the sequels. And then we have It. The first one, the 2017 one. Actually, well, it's not the first one because, you know, TV show. Okay. Anyway, um, it's amazing. Uh, once again, I've seen that one like five million times too. WandaVision, my favorite show. I I love it so much. Very, this is a very hard angle to get. Oh my God, I'm so close to the camera. Okay. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. I wouldn't put anything less. This is like my favorite non-Marvel or Star Wars movie of all time. It's superior in pretty much every way. All right. Episode six. Star Wars Return of the Jedi um, has a great ending happy ending. It's amazing. All right, Enola Holmes a Netflix original Millie Bobby Brown once again They're making a second one and I couldn't be more excited. All right Avengers Infinity War the ending. Oh, no I was definitely not crying in the movie theaters the first time clueless a classic Ugh. As if standing on my bed. Wow, I'm finally tall. Revenge of the Sith. Do I need to explain anymore? I actually made a cake on this scene. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link that down there. The very end. End game. So good. Look at the. <gasps> I guess that's enough of me ranting about these movies. I just love them all so much. There's a spider web. I'll see you in the outro and talk to you more about the Pinterest situation and everything. <laughs> finished with the movie tv show polaroid minimalistic wall <laughs> i really love it i think that it's really nice and it is exactly what i was hoping for and i hope that i could like help you out with it like kind of help you like figure things out a little bit if you are planning to do this or if you're just watching just for just for fun that's always good i hope i entertained you all of these posters are on my pinterest and that will be the first link in the description right at the very top so feel free free to um, download that, print that out. I made sure that they're all the same size, same color, same font, same everything, so you can have a very organized poster wall like me. <laughs> um, also, I put some other movies that I was going to include, but I didn't have enough space on the wall. I'm also probably going to be adding more movies and TV shows too. That um, Pinterest board that I created myself. Actually, if you want me to create a, a certain movie or TV show, just drop it in the comments and I will most likely likely be able to do it because if it would help you out and make it one step easier that would be fantastic and I would gladly do so so just drop it in the comments of this or you could even any of the comments on my Pinterest I really hope you enjoyed watching if you did maybe give this video a little like uh, maybe a little subscription to my channel I'm gonna be posting every single week always that to look forward to check out these that I posted on Pinterest and let me know if you have any questions or anything like that in the comments bye peace out <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.